like to introduce you to the newest member of my home gym. This little baby right here is better known as a Mace Bell. Uh, some of the unique features about this thing is all of the weight is right here in this little ball. Now this one is 10 kilos. And I know I was thinking the same thing. 10 kilos doesn't sound a lot. But 10 kilos next to your hand is one thing. But 10 kilos on the end of this pole swinging around, something totally different. So 10 kilos is 10 kilos until you stick it on the end of the pole like this. The other thing that you'll notice is that the grip is pretty big. This is this is the fat grip. So uh, it's gonna work the work the grip muscles out pretty pretty intensely. One thing that I found out this morning, if you watched the video that I posted of my workout this morning, is that I really need to find some uh, tennis grip or something to go on this thing because uh, when I start sweating, it's become real hard to hold on to. And that's not a good thing. I was, uh, I was really fortunate this morning that it slipped out of my hands and, and hit the ground and not some of this other stuff that's around me. Okay, so uh, you should have seen me when I first tried to work out with this thing. Um, and the reason why I went with the 10 kilo, they also make a 5 kilo model. I went with the 10 kilo because I've been tossing around this 24 kilo kettlebell now for, for a few months. Right? So I thought I was, I was pretty strong enough. But uh, what I found is um, the difference in leverage really does make a huge difference on how the weight actually feels. 10 kilos is a lot. And the first thing that I found out when I tried to use this thing was that it was too heavy, too heavy for me to try to learn the technique. You really need to learn the technique before you grab this baby. So uh, my first, first time I was trying to swing this thing were, were quite comical. Uh, in hindsight, they're quite comical. I don't know why they were actually happening. But what I finally did is I got smart. I went and saw the dude with the, with the moped broom store and uh, I got a regular broom that you can find just about anywhere in Thailand. This one cost me 70 baht. It's about what? About 20? Dollar 20? Anyway, it's, uh, it's just a short length of, of bamboo pole and um, I, cut, I cut the bristles because normally they're about this long. So I cut them and then I took a one liter bottle of water jammed in there, and then just taped the, I don't know what out of it with duct tape, and it worked. The object of this is for it not to be heavy, but you do need some weight on it. Uh, this is invaluable because what you need to do is get some reps. In order to learn the technique, you need to get some reps. Um, quite apparent to me is, uh, Without knowing the technique, you will be fighting this thing. And 10 pounds of steel swinging around your head and you're trying to fight, not a good thing. Okay? That's not a good thing. So you, you have to learn how to work with the mace belt. First thing is you're going to use a hand on hand, hand on top of hand grip. Now, if you choke up on this thing, Again, this is going to improve your leverage, so this is not going to be as heavy as out here. Okay, so there are lots of moves that you can do with one of these things. The two most important by far is 360 and the 10 and 2. These are like the squat, the deadlift, and the, and the bench press all put in one. Okay, so this is the start position, one hand on top of the other. Uh, a key to keep in mind is whichever hand is on top, you're going to dump it over that opposite shoulder. So the 360, we'll go over that first because that's probably the easiest. So 360, push up, you dump it, and somewhere along in here, once you pull it back down, it's going to get weightless for a second. So then you just guide it, wait for it to start to pull, and then dump it and you're back around, like this. Now, what you should notice 
is my elbows and how far my hands actually go. Notice my hands aren't going way out here. <laughs> you can try that, but man, even with this little light weight, it still wants to drag my body away. So keep your body tight. Okay? Pull down. This is going to be a super workout for the lats, pecs, biceps, triceps, and the shoulders. So you're working everything at one time. And you also want to go with the outside direction. All right, so that's the 360. The other one is the 10 and 2. And believe it or not, uh, this one is a little bit harder for me than the 360. Uh, I guess because the 360, it kind of gets weightless in the center for four seconds, so you get a little break. But the 10 to 2, you have to hit that same 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock position. And if you don't, then bad things start to happen. Watch my video this morning. And you will see when you, what happens when you don't hit that, that perfect or close to that 10 or 2. So other than that, it's basically the, the same procedure. Push up, dump it, 10. Push up, pull down. Push up, pull down. Push up, pull down. Push up, pull down. This pulling down actually makes it stall a little. And then you just wait for it to go down by itself. So that you're not actually swinging the bell, the mace bell, you're guiding it. And believe me, everything is tight. Keep your body tight. I've seen some people get on there and they do a lot of this, this body motion stuff. That's a lot easier. Uh, you just want to do it easy, why don't you go do yoga? Uh, that's going to make a lot of people mad. Okay, if you want to do something easy, go for a walk. Ten and twos. The absolute best two exercises with mace bell. Again, and it's on top, you're dumping it over that shoulder. And it doesn't take a lot of these before you really start to feel it. But the thing that using the broom will do. It will enable you to get enough reps so that you can get this technique down. Because you fighting the bell, I already know who's gonna win. Can't hurt this thing. <laughs> All right, 10 to two. Here we go. That's two. That's 10. Pull down, don't pull down. Pull down, dump, pull down, dump. Okay, as you can see, I'm already starting to sweat. I wasn't even trying to get a pump. <laughs> Did it anyway. So I think uh, if I were to design one of these things, the only thing that I would do differently is maybe you put a uh, small ball on the end. But, uh, and that's just to make sure it doesn't go flying out your hands like it did on me this morning. But other than that, I'm going to grip this puppy up for my next workout, which will be the after tomorrow. And I did buy this right here in Bangkok. I got it from Bangkok Kettlebells. Uh, the owner, Roy, delivered it through my house and uh, man, it took all of one day. So uh, I can't say it enough. Kettlebells or mace bells, you need something like that, you need to go to BangkokKettlebells.com. Alright, that's it.